so in this video we are going to see how we can add additional bindings on the f4 help using annotations so what we are going to do is we have a field here which is gender and we are only adding here m or f so what we are going to do is we will be having a domain where m will re have a description of male and f will have a description of female so from f for help here which we will be adding soon when a user will select an option then a new field would be added here and uh, as soon as user change the value here field value would be updated with a specific description so this kind of scenarios if you have where you want to change a controls value depending on the other controls value so in those kind of scenarios you make use of additional bindings so this is what we are going to see now so let's start so very first thing which we need to do here is we will be checking if we have any domain already created for the gender so for that we will be opening here and uh, we do have a domain already created zdom gender so it has two different values m and f and with the description male and female so this is what we are going to use okay so very first thing which we need to do is we need to create a entity view for this so that it can return these two values so go to our data definition and create a new data definition here we will provide a name which is the i underscore gender underscore 5000 gender domain and uh, next next and take a define view entity here click on finish okay so our template is generated and uh, now to select the data from domain we have a specific format here so we will be selecting from as select from data dictionary cds underscore custom customer underscore domain and then here we have two values so this will return a table and this will return a structure so since we have multiple values we will be using the table option here okay and then it will ask you the domain name so our domain name is z d o m underscore gender okay now let's add all of the fields and uh, we have a language so let's add semantics dot language to true and we also have a text field here so add semantics dot text to true okay and we will be using a value low and the text field so let's add an alias here as value value and the text as description okay that's it so our cds view is created entity view which we will be calling let's see the output open with data preview 
and see we got the female and male both the option so this value and this is the description so in the additional binding we will be displaying this description in the new control the dynamic control click on close so this one is done now the next step is since we have got this values so we need to add these values now into our interface cds view so what we need to do is we need to add an association here since we we want to have those values here that's why so association association 2 this is one and uh, as underscore gender and on dollar projection dollar projection dot and our value would be gender is equal to underscore gender dot and our value would be in the value field okay so this is our association done and then we will be adding this association to a public and we also need here the description so description as we will be adding g e n d e r d e s c gender description okay so that's it and now activate so now our interface view is also ready what it is saying cardinality of does not match to the on condition that's okay so this is activated and now we need to add the same column in our consumption view because this is our root view which is used to create the fury application okay so how where we will be adding so we have already have a gender here added we just need to add just after this our new field which is gender description okay and uh, that's it nothing much more is needed here click on activate so this is also activated and now finally we will be doing some changes in the metadata extension file because our full interface of our fury application is getting generated from the metadata extension okay so now where is our gender field gender is here so we will be adding everything all of the annotations here only okay so for gender let's add some annotation here so what are the things we have here we have line item position and label and then we also displaying on the identification so identification and uh, identification so this will be done here so this much is done and now we will be adding our f for help here so for adding f for help we have an annotation called consumption dot value help value help definition okay and then what it takes is it takes the entity and uh, entity would be like this where we are having name and the name would be your uh, uh, cds view name here so zi gender 
5000 okay to ci underscore gender 5000 and uh, then the next parameter is element so which where what which is the column where this value will be available so our column is value okay so this is done and uh, then put a comma now let's add distinct value to true we do not want any duplicate values here and then finally we will be adding the additional bindings here okay so we have additional bindings and uh, there are certain some properties which you need to add so which is local element so local element would be your the name which you have defined here in the consumption right so copy this and paste so this one is done and then the next one is your element so what would be the element here your element would be your description where your text is there okay so this is your description and uh, let's add one more property which is not a mandatory but it's good to add it here so filter and results because since this is a value help we just added this option as well so now that's it so additional binding is this much only and value have we already have seen how to create and everything in one of our previous videos okay and now uh, for displaying the gender description so this annotation was for gender and now we need to add another So gender description this is what we want to display and how we want to display we just want to display this thing on the identification okay so UI colon and then identification and position is say how much is the position so position this is 90 this is 80 so we want after this so let's put 85 here okay and uh, label let's keep it blank and that's it we are done so activate and this got activated now let's see the output go back refresh okay click on this and then uh, gender and this is the short description see we already have got the details here short description because the gender is male here so let's edit and uh, let's try to change it to female and here you go so as soon as you change any value from this control using f4 help this field will be updated so this is what the functionality of additional binding and uh, that's all for now in this video if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you